According to many infectious disease doctors, Lyme disease is an infection caused by a spiral-shaped bacterium, Borrelia burgdorferi. A very common tick is believed to be the primary carrier of this bug, and you can be infected if a tick burrows into your skin while attempting to feed on your blood. When the tick feeds, it injects Lyme disease bacteria into your skin and blood. From there, the bacteria drill deeper into tissues attached to the linings of several organ systems and may establish permanent colonies called biofilms. Your immune system tries to fight off the bacteria. Those tissues become inflamed and an uneasy truce develops between you and the bacteria that may ultimately become a persisting infection causing chronic disease. Diagnosis of Lyme disease is a difficult process because the available blood tests are reliably inaccurate. The algorithm that doctors rely on for making the diagnosis is convoluted and applicable to only about half of the Lyme disease cases in the country. The standard treatment for Lyme disease is a few weeks of antibiotics, most often oral doxycycline. Although many doctors believe that this approach kills the bacteria and cures the infection, New research reveals that the bacteria can survive antibiotics and continue to cause disease symptoms long after the antibiotic treatment ends. The symptoms may become progressively more debilitating and may be life-threatening. Unfortunately, this may be the disease course for as many as half of everyone who develops Lyme disease. In addition to Borrelia, Ticks harbor other disease-causing microorganisms that can add to the severity of the disease, such as the bacteria Ehrlichia, Anaplasma, and Bartonella, and the malaria-like protozoa Babesia, and possibly others. Ticks are also known to carry and transmit at least two viruses that can cause encephalitis, a type of brain inflammation. It's very unfortunate for Lyme disease patients that the practice of medicine has not kept pace with what we know from published research studies on the nature of the microorganisms responsible for Lyme disease symptoms. For example, research shows that transmission of disease microbes from tick to humans can happen quickly. But many medical and public health professionals insist there's nothing to worry about unless the tick is attached for 36 hours. Many health professionals insist that people with Lyme disease almost always develop a bullseye rash, but in reality, only about 1 in 10 victims get it. The current medical approach to treatment of Lyme disease assumes that the disease is caused by a single type of bacteria, that the infection is short-lived, an acute infection, and that antibiotics will effectively treat the infection 95% of the time. While this is true for about half of those afflicted, the reality is that for the other half, Lyme disease can become a chronic, disabling, progressively worsening disease. Unlike the better known frontal pathogens, tick-borne bacteria are truly stealth pathogens with remarkable capabilities to invade their hosts, evade the immune system, survive antibiotics, and live on. Reluctance on the part of many doctors to acknowledge that Lyme disease is much more than a simple infection caused by one bacterium has created an adversarial relationship between people with Lyme disease, their physicians, and the Centers for Disease Control and other public health agencies. This has permitted Lyme disease to grow to epidemic proportions in New York, in the United States, and around the globe. Lyme disease has truly become a public health crisis, one that we at the Lyme Action Network are working to alleviate.